Uh, what's the temperature today? Ten, nine below, nine above. This is a look. Uh, hi, good evening. My name is Dwayne Fred Lowe. I'm at mile 298. Fort Nelson is mile 300. There's Fort Nelson. This is where the fire is, directly west, eight kilometers. We have some news on that. This is looking directly south. Looking west to the fire. This is looking north. No smoke. We have cloud, high clouds. I was talking to a couple pilots today, helicopter pilots. Um, they're very hard, hard. Yes, uh, I got cut off there. I was talking to a couple of pilots today that are out flying on a fire. And they said, uh, this is good news. They said the fire at mile 311, 310 is pretty much knocked down. Uh, the fire towards Nahani, uh, Fort Liard, Northwest Territories border, 80 kilometers directly north. That's pretty much knocked down. And the one in the middle, the one they're so worried about, the Patry, that, that's uh, pretty much knocked down as well. All, the, all they have is uh, long fire burns along the grass around the fire, and that's what they'll be working at. And the pilots don't seem to be too too worried about it because um, he was saying, the pilot said, uh, these are, are his, his exact words, he's not too worried about it because of the cloud and the rain will put it out. And um, these guys have the experience on the fires and so that's that's a good news and um, and uh, there have been people trying to shut me down from reporting here from both sides and um, I'm gonna keep reporting civilian uh, journalism I believe is uh, big and it's showing the truth and uh, like, like I said before like I said before, um, uh, like I said I, before, I don't watch mainstream media, nothing. These segments we do are long, never edited. It's always raw and it always truth as possible as we can make it. We want the truth in the hands of the people. That's why I'm out here doing this reporting every day. Show how beautiful it is in Fort Nelson. Looking south, but the crews have uh, a little update. They have uh, the firefighting crew. Looks like rain over there in them clouds. That's right over Fort Nelson, over the Patry. The, the crews have a whole bunch of pup tents out at the airport. Probably a hundred, hundred tents, and they have a, a crew there cooking for them. Lots of uh, food. They have a uh, picnic table set up. They have a mess hall. Everyone's eating good. They're working 12 hours a day. And in Fort Nelson, the fire hall seemed to have moved from the fire hall. They're not even around the fire hall much anymore. As you can see, most of their vehicles are down by Tim Horton's coffee shop and Eddie's shop there. And there's a big crew down there. A lot of the fire trucks are there. So they seem to have moved. That's our update from Fort Nelson. The temperature is plus eight, no wind. Beautiful. And it's not, uh, they should have these roads open. There's gotta be more than a fire for this. And it's not, no one in this town has the answers. No one in the next town has the answers. It's someone up beyond them pulling the strings. 
When it's wrong, people should be back in Fort Nelson. People should be working in their gardens. People should be in their homes. Look around. They're telling us to be scared. But I'm, we're going to be doing more and more digging and finding out what's going on. Um, this is Dwayne Fred Lowe, live from the south side. Have a good evening. God bless. We have traffic. But like I say, everything looks clear. We got to push it on to people to let us back. Have a good day, everyone. Ciao.